Pablo Escobar's former house is a thriving family amusement park today. This is Hacienda Napoles today. It's Parque Temático Hacienda Napoles. Recognize this from the opening title sequence of the show Narcos? No puedo creer que estamos aquí. It's still there, but the property itself is very different now. It's been repurposed into a water park and a zoo. Hola, ¿qué tal? It's like Colombia's equivalent to the San Diego Wild Animal Park, but there's actually a lot more to it than that. It took us three hours to drive from Medellín to Hacienda Napoles. It's in a town called Puerto Triunfo. We met with Oberdan Martinez, who runs the park today, and he's very passionate about it. This is my cat. <laughs> he's deeply committed to the park's mission and the role the park plays in the local community today. Para explotar este destino como un destino de región para reactivar la economía de la región que se había perdido por los problemas de inseguridad. Digamos que disponer de un bien que se le había decomisado a unos delincuentes y que se estaba perdiendo absolutamente, convertirlo en un proyecto productivo que generara empleo y generara toda una actividad económica en la región. The property in total is just under eight square miles, most of which has been repurposed for this park. We weren't allowed to film the house itself, but it's still there. There are a few things that are recognizable from the Escobar years that you can see. Oberdan and I are sitting in Escobar's old bullfighting ring, which today is an auditorium dedicated to the culture and wildlife of Africa. But this isn't a story about Escobar. In fact, we were asked not to dwell on the Escobar thing for this story. Why is it important to you to, to separate from Escobar? Si queremos lograr que el mundo nos conozca por muchas otras cosas buenas que hay en nuestro país, do you see some success? Do you think you're going to succeed in shedding that completely? Yo creo que sí, se ha logrado. And the truth is, the park deserves its own attention for the role it's played in uplifting the region. But here's the thing. It's impossible to talk about Hacienda Napoles and the good things it's doing today without talking about its past. In 1989, just before Escobar died, the local government took over the property. Everything that you see, as far as your eye can see, once belonged to Pablo Escobar. It sat empty and unused for many years. And in 2007, a family business, Oberdan's family business, rented the land from the government and opened Parque Temático Hacienda Napoles. At the height of the narco-trafficking conflict, Puerto Triunfo saw so much violence that they were essentially cut off from the world. Armed conflicts between rival drug cartels and the government were often centered here. There was no tourism here, no real economy to boost the area financially. El entorno en la región cambió completamente desde que existe el parque. Somos unos grandes generadores de empleo en la región y alrededor del parque temático se mueven muchos otros negocios y otras actividades comerciales como hoteles, estaciones de servicio de combustible, restaurantes. The fact that this all exists now and there's something good being done with all these animals and these tourists. It's kind of incredible that they've turned it around in 10 years. According to Oberdan, there were 400,000 visitors to the park in 2016. That's a lot of tourism money coming into the local economy, where once, not that long ago, there was none. Y pues es muy grato poder ver que hemos logrado impactar en la en el gusto de la gente. Cada vez vienen más turistas a nuestro parque, es de verdad muy satisfactorio. But in English we say, like, make lemonade out of lemons. You took lemons and you made some beautiful lemonade. Con la vida te limones. Aprende a hacer limonada. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>